In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to import Excel data and plot them into Global Mapper. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. Here I got major US cities with their latitude and longitude. The first thing to do before importing this coordinates to Global Mapper is to save this Excel file as csv file so to do this head over to file then click save as close to your folder and then choose uh, csv comma delimited this is a very important step and then click save after that we will open the global mapper so we will click on file open data files or we'll go directly here by by clicking on open data files then we'll click on our csv file and then we'll click open we will select point only here in coordinate order this is the order of our coordinate column for my data i started with latitude so i will put L latitude then here fields to skip at start of line this is the first line that contains the latitude and longitude so we will not need this one and we will set the other parameters to default then we click ok then global mapper asks asks for a projection because this excel does not contain any projection so we will click on ok and then we will see it manually uh, the the projects the coordinate system of our uh, data for me my data is latitude and longitude corresponding to the wgs 1984 uh, coordinate system so i will just go ahead and enter directly the number the code of my my coordinate system so it does recognize that this code corresponds to the geographic latitude and longitude to the WGS 1984 so I will click on OK and there we go I got my my cities imported so to make sure that this plot is correct I will go ahead and import import a base map so to do this click on file and then go to download online online imagery then i will select this world imagery and i will click connect now to change the style of our our points go to imported layer and right click and click on options then go to point style and click on use same style for all features then you can you can modify the point symbol for example we will select red dots factor 2 then we will change the labels to change their color see to white then we will activate all click ok ok and then finally apply then ok so this is our final result you can export this layer to multiple type of, of files for example you can export it to a, a for our case to a vector format and from here you can choose whatever you want like for example shape file kmz there are a tons of, of format to choose from. Let's take the example of a shape file. Let's select shape file and then click OK. And select export points. Then input the name of your shape file. Then click save. After that, click OK. And now Global Mapper is exporting our layer as a shape file. So that's it for this tutorial, 
if you like this video please give, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get more tutorials